Welcome back, f***ing maniacs. Today we're going to waste about two minutes of your day giving you a really sweet scrolling overlay like we got up here. It's going to give your latest bits, cheers, tips, raiders, etc, etc. Nothing more than a GDI text source and a few sub-action streamer bot. So sit back, shut up, and enjoy the show. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is head over to OBS and add a new source. It's going to be text GDI. I'm going to call mine latest event globals press ok on that and now for my fonts i found a really cool font called Knack. that's what we're going to use here you can obviously use whatever they want to and for size i did 48 no real reason it just looked good so that's what we're going to do test font here and press ok Right click on your new GDI text and press filters. Once that loads up, press the plus sign here. We're gonna click on scroll. Don't need to rename that filter. Um, I like the speed of 40. Looks a little fast in this case, but it's because there's only one word. And then we're gonna go ahead and close this out. Leave, make sure you have loop highlighted there. Minimize this and we're gonna head over to StreamerBot. All right, now that we get StreamerBot launched, we're going to go through each of our events that we want included here. Um, so starters, I'm going to use my cheer event. We've already got the target info from who redeems. So now we just need to set a global. So right click core globals and set. We're going to call this one latest cheer name with an argument of target user and press OK. So we've got that. And now for bits specifically, we're going to need a second global to store the number of bits. So here we're going to call this one latest uh, bits to the argument of bits. Now we've got both of those globals stored. We're going to add one more GDI text here. So core down to OBS sources and set GDI text latest event globals if you look down in the description of this video you'll see the copy and paste message all of these GDI text updates are going to be the same that means anytime you get a new cheer it updates that GDI text with just the latest global I want to put that in there latest event globals is now in here and we're going to go down to our new follower and do the same thing here. Going into core globals and set. I'm going to call this one, you guessed it, latest follower. With an argument of target user and press OK. Move that up just a tear. Let's go to core, I'm sorry, OBS sources and set GDI text. And same thing. We're going to copy this in. Press OK. Now onto the subscriber. Same thing. For global and set. Call this one latest sub. With an argument of target user. Press OK. To OBS source set to GDI text. And there we go. And then we want the same thing for the resub. So we're gonna go into the resub, core, globals, and set. This one's gonna be the latest sub still with the value of target user. Press okay. And now let's update our GDI text for whenever we get a resub. And there is okay. Make sure that your GDI text is below your update your global. That way it shows the latest one. Raid, it's gonna be very similar here. Core, global, set. And I call this one latest raider name. And this will be target user. Now I don't have any other raid action set up on this particular version of StreamerBot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the target user info here. If you've already have 
a raid action, then you just add this in here like we've previously done. We need to set another global for the number of raiders that come in. So this will be latest raiders number. And the argument for that is called viewers. And lastly, let's go to OBS, source, set our GDI text again. And now we're going to press OK. Now that's going to save that. So I think the only thing we have left to do is for the kit. Now I use Ko-Fi personally. So we're going to show this for Ko-Fi. For stream elements, the variable is just going to be a little bit different. For globals set. Call this one latest tipper. And that's going to be target user again. Nope, I lied. For the tipper, this is actually going to be from. If we were using stream elements, then this would be tip username. So again, for stream elements only, it would be tip username. But for Ko-Fi, it is from. And now we're going to core globals and set. And then for Ko-Fi, the variable name, well, for either of them, the variable name is going to be latest tip amount. And then in Ko-Fi, it'll be amount. If you're using stream elements tipping, it'll be tip amount. Again, we're using Ko-Fi, so we're gonna keep it with amount. No. OBS, source, we'll set our GDI tech again. The only other thing I would recommend here is create an action that only updates your GDI text because for your globals to save, it requires you to be running streamer bot. So if somebody follows you when you're offline or something, you want to manually update them, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to create an action here and we're just going to call it update latest names. Put it in our same uh, group like this. We're going to create a command for it. Core command, command trigger. I'm going to create a new one. I'm just going to call this Update latest names, and the command is going to be update latest. Set that to moderators only, and press OK. The sub action here is just going to be update GDI text. Again, this is so if you're offline and you get a new follower or something along those lines, then what you'd have to do is go into your variables where your latest is delete and change the names here. All right, so here is our OBS running. We're gonna do a test cheer. Get our audio playing. And you'll see it's populated, the variables up here, but it doesn't have any of the other names because it's the first time. If you go into your variables tab, you'll see all of the latest variables should be in here. Well, latest bits and cheer because that's what we've ran so far. You can go down and do the same thing for a new follower. Now we've got a follower filled in there. Do it for a subscriber. Let that finish. We'll do the raid. We should see the raid come in here. And then the tip, same thing. Now the tip's not working because I don't have Ko-Fi integrated with this version of StreamerBot. So if we go into our variables here, we'll see this tip is not in there, so let's fix that. And latest raider, I screwed up on the name there, so it's actually going to be latest raider without the name. Let's fix the raider here. There we go, post from Robin. And again, the tip's not going to work only because 
I don't have Ko-Fi tied to this version. We can add it in here manually if you want to see it. There's Tipper. And we'll say five. Actually, let's give the name. And then we'll add another one for latest tip amount, and we'll call that five. And now here we've got our update latest. So let's go ahead and update this. Kill five tipper, five dollars, latest rater, latest follower, yada yada yada. As you can see, you can exclude or include whatever information you want on here. Maybe you don't get a lot of raids and you don't want to have that showed up there. Maybe you don't want to have your latest followers shown up there. Whatever you want, you just adjust the GDI text appropriately and go from there. All right, that's how easy it was. You got a pretty cool little scrolling display to show off onto all your new friends about all the cool people that have like done stuff in your channel. Other than that, if you're enjoying the mediocre content here, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video with a friend. It's super easy to set up. Uh, if you got any questions, hop in the Discord. The link should be down below. I did export this to Ko-Fi. However, it's going to kind of vary based on your initial setup. So it may not work too well for you. But if you're feeling extra lazy and you're already using my alerts, which if you are, thank you. If you're not, oh well. Until next time, we'll catch you later, you maniacs.